Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what I can figure out here. It starts off very, very... It's uh, playing a little on the major there. And there is sort of a, a click-clock, you know, a tick-tock kind of going on there. And uh, it sounds like he's... Uh, he's doing that like a falsetto, you know. Remind me a little of uh, Radiohead. Da, da, da. Maybe they get that a lot, I don't know. But uh, I don't even know Radio Ahead so that well, so don't listen to me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's got a very strong, uh, beautiful falsetto. And then you have that sort of uh, Eastern percussion, you know, that sort of a little bit of a tabla kind of feel going on there. Nicely produced, everything sounds great. Nice panning and whatnot. And then there's some really cool background guitar effects going on. It's just, yeah, which reminds me sort of like a flashback and a flat flashback in a film you know when there's some flashback of some memory or something now it's on a e flat minor and he's continuing to sing here so they're going back and forth to the b minor e flat minor b flat minor there then there's a cello solo and the, the piano is sort of holding down these uh, low chords all minor chords mostly here so it has that sort of a so somberish feeling because of the slow tempo and whatnot, a lot of reverb. And then when it picks up, uh, it's like, and then, and then the bass, it sounds like it's a keyboard bass note. And, uh, and the drumming is, it sounds like he's got like, um, brushes almost it's maybe not it says it sounds like sticks actually and they have uh the digital delay on the guitar so so when you play a note you get a ping pong effect this sort of it's like you're bouncing around it's like this twice or three times as many notes as and it sounds again a nice texture adding to the song and i just can't get over the bass line Combined with the drumming, uh, which is, I can't even figure out, I would have to really focus on that to figure out what are they doing, but it sounds so wild, it's great. Right, and so then when it all just, all, all hell breaks loose and they're all he's singing, and it's like the, the band's just rocking out. <laughs> see I don't know exactly the pattern they're using but it's not a typical pattern you have to you have to listen to it a couple times and say oh they're doing something different like they're hanging out on a certain just hanging out on a certain chord a little longer than you might anticipate and there's almost a kind of Led Zeppelin feeling in that end part when he's screaming away there and in the guitars anyways because it sounds like the guitarist is playing some of the bass lines notes, so he's giving emphasis to that low end. And I think, I think Led Zeppelin did that a lot, where uh, uh, Jimmy Page was playing um, along with the bass line and just sort of really just uh, reinforcing that that uh, groove and the bass feel because that's really important in the music. So this was a fantastic song, uh, quite delightful in how surprising uh, it is. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you all later spiraling out.